On the final days of school, as graduation drew closer, I found myself thinking about all the memories I've had. But I found myself thinking more about the little meaningless memories than the big accomplishments. Critics might argue that this is because I don't have any big accomplishments. <laughs> and I'll admit it, despite going through bottles of miracle growth, I failed to grow a full beard before graduation. <laughs> Still, it's those fond little memories that seem to stick with me. For instance, my fishing buddy of my early high school years and I, we watched a lot of fishing shows. But as we sat on the dock one day with our lines in the water, we discussed that we noticed the difference between the hosts of those fishing shows and ourselves. See, whenever the TV hosts caught fish, they wouldn't even get up out of their chair if they didn't have to. They'd just say, fish on, and set the hook. Whenever we caught fish, we got really excited. <laughs> so we decided that from then on, we catch fish in a more professional manner. A little while later, he caught a fish. Caught one, he said, and reeled it in, stood up. Pretty good, I said. But you did stand up and got to say fish on. A little while later, I looked over and saw my bobber foot underwater. Oh, oh, got one, I got one, fish on, oh, I said it! <laughs> we both agreed that between the two of us, my show would have more viewers. <laughs> yes, I've always been one to keep my cool in intense situations. A week after I got my driver's license, I drove up to a stoplight in Sandpoint. It was nighttime. And I turned my turn signal on, but my dad said we needed to go straight. So, as the light turned green, I crossed the intersection, and then I saw it. Those red and blue flashing lights of doom in my rear view mirror. So apparently, I had forgotten to turn my headlights on. So, I pulled over, my dad in the passenger seat, and both brothers in the back seat. Oh, great, I thought. Three witnesses. I'm never going to live this down. <laughs> yeah, I was terrified. I just sat there with a shaking driver's license in hand, saying, What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Over and over again. But you see, my dad didn't answer me. Like any good father, he was laughing his head off. <laughs> came up to my window side, and if matters weren't bad enough, I lost any ability to speak. <laughs> Getting kind of dark out, isn't it? She said. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you notice you turned your turret signal on and then turned them off. Was there a reason for that? What? Well, I, I was going to go right, but then I decided to go straight. <laughs> Fortunately, I wasn't given a ticket, and my dad really was supportive in the whole matter. He told me that I handled it well, and as I turned back onto the road, reminded me to turn my headlights on. <laughs> now, to some of you, these memories, however humorous, might seem a little lacking, and they should. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8 reads, The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. I consider it a great joy and blessing to recognize that although I have many blessings, including great parents and the memories I talked about, these, like myself and the flowers mentioned in Isaiah, are fading fast. The common joke is that teenagers think they have forever, but I'm privileged with the knowledge that I really do have eternity to look forward to. Little old lady.